What is going on everyone? This is Ninja Geek here and today we are bringing you another Call of Duty Advanced Warfare gameplay. Here we are playing some Kill Confirmed using the K5 with a silencer, a red dot, and a foregrip I believe. But I do not recommend running the red dot because this gun has no range at all because obviously it's an SMG and SMGs have no range within Advanced Warfare which is pretty unfortunate and pretty sad to see because the bow is the most overpowered thing. But we're going to talk about all of that. But before we talk about that, uh, I want to talk about something more like personal with this game that I have and then talk about its problems. So just so you know beforehand, before I start like, you know, ranting about the game, not really, you know, like trying, not really trying to be mean towards it, but just how I feel. And uh, basically... Uh, so, you know, Call of Duty Ghosts came out. I'm not trying to relate back to Call of Duty Ghosts because Call of Duty Ghosts I did not like, uh, at all. It was one of the worst Call of Duty games. It was, like, right up there with Modern Warfare 3 with how bad, uh, Call of Duty Ghosts ended up being. But I'm glad that that's over. But anyways, then Call of Duty Ghosts, like, the first couple of weeks up to, like, three months, you know, I actually had fun with the game. And I actually, you know, could do well. I mean, I wouldn't do well all the time. But, you know, there were some games where I could go, like, 30 and 5, 30 and 2, 25. You know, I could get those types of games within Call of Duty Ghosts. And I can't get them here within Advanced Warfare. I mean, I know the game, I mean, the game's only been out about a month now going, you know, forward. It's going to be about a month. And, um, you know, I, I, I mean, there's obviously a reason for that. And the main reason has to do with the skill-based matchmaking, but that's what I'm going to get into afterwards. But also because this game's controls aren't like any other Call of Duties. You know, you can't just pick up a controller on Advanced Warfare if you've played another Call of Duty before and expect to do well. You know, you have to actually learn how to double jump, you know, boost slam, boost dodge out of the way in most situations and for me right now that just seems like it's really it's a really hard thing to do because you know I, I'm not really used to the controls I don't know how many people out there are actually you know comfortable with the advanced warfare controls but I'm really not I'm struggling to do even like decent like most of my games if I go positive in advanced warfare I give myself a round of applause for actually going positive that's how bad I do within advanced warfare because I don't know this game it just isn't for me and I think personally in my opinion you know we want fast-paced call of duties it's better to be way too fast-paced than like call of duty ghosts was and it was really slow paced it was better to be fast-paced like advanced warfare but i think that this game is just a little bit too fast at least for me it is anyway because you know, most of the time i'm like running around i'm jumping around you know i get on like a two kill streak sometimes and then, you know, all of a sudden, out of nowhere, some guy will just jump the corner, shoot a random quick scope. It'll randomly hit me in the elbow, and I'll die because he dodged, like, out of the way from my bullets. And it, it, I just, I hate that so much. I don't like, I, I just can't get used to the controls in this game. That's my biggest problem with it. That's, like I said, a personal problem. But hopefully that'll get better, you know, as time goes on, and I can get much better gameplays than, you know, now versus now gameplays, because right now I only have about, like, five gameplays saved up, and, you know, I've been playing Advanced Warfare more than for five gameplays, you know, like with Black Ops 2, you know, when I used to hop on Black Ops 2, I would probably at least get, like, ten gameplays every single day, and I could just, I still have Black Ops 2 gameplay saved up. That's how much I recorded of Black Ops 2. But with Advanced Warfare, I have only have five gameplays right now for playing over the course of like, well, maybe more than five, but the ones that I had to delete. So maybe like 15 gameplays over the course of a month. And it's just like, you know, I mean, I obviously know the game just came out, but still. Uh, I just can't get hold of the controls. But the next thing that I want to talk about is the uh, the actual uh, self-explanatory part of Advanced Warfare that Sledgehammer really needs to patch this game because there's different kinds of versions of Advanced Warfare on the Xbox 360, the Xbox One, PlayStation 3, PlayStation 4, either console. You know, the BAL is overpowered on the next-gen consoles because they didn't uh, nerf that yet. And the the uh, EM1 quantum energy weapon is uh, is like oh my god! Another note: if you get this solar beam in a care package, do not pick it up. This thing is terrible. But you know, if you're playing on like uh, an older generation console, like the Xbox 360 or the PlayStation 3, the EM1 is over uh, overpowered. Not it's overbalanced, I guess too. Um, the sledgehammer just can't seem to get anything right. So hopefully, with the next patch, they could fix that. 
But another reason why I can't be uh, seem to be doing better uh, has to do with the skill based matchmaking within this game, which I quickly noticed. You know, every time, every literally every time. I play this game, whether it's Kill Confirmed, Ground War, Domination, Hardpoint, Momentum, every, any game mode that I go into at any time, I'm just being paired up against the most sweatiest tryhards in clans. That's all that I'm getting paired up against, and my team is a bunch of randoms, because usually I play solo, so, you know, if if my team's a bunch of random people and the enemy team is the same skill that I am, like, why should I have to play against that all the time? I mean, I understand that, you know, Call of Duty is a competitive thing, but, you know, gaming is supposed to be about having fun. I don't want to go into a match every five minutes and have to face try-hard, sweaty clans. It, it just makes it for a boring gameplay, and it, it gets me frustrated all the time, and then after about, uh, like, a half an hour of playing, I just get so tired of playing it that I just shut my console off and go do something else, because it's just so annoying, and why should I have to waste my time against that now you know obviously they have the ranked playlist so why can't we just go into the ranked playlist for skill based matchmaking if we actually want to play against people at our own skill why should we have to have that in the regular multiplayer it makes no sense now i know black ops 2 had a form of skill based matchmaking but later on within black ops 2 or you know treyarch's black ops 2's life cycle it, you know, I think it kind of got better just because the player count overall increased from the amount of people, you know, getting the game. With Advanced Warfare, I hope that, you know, happens too from the more people that actually get the game. Uh, you know, I don't think there's going to be Christmas noobs in Advanced Warfare, to be honest. If you're a good player, there's not going to be Christmas noobs because the skill-based matchmaking is so high in this game. Uh, that it, it's unbelievable. Sometimes, like, I, and I know there's skill-based matchmaking in this game too because I've seen bad players that, like, I've actually been in a room with a bad player, not necessarily like, oh, he's bad or something, but, you know, I've seen it before where they're not as, you know, pro as uh, the better players that have been playing Call of Duty for years, and they're getting paired up against complete noobs. They're getting paired up against people that are, like, level fives, and I'm just like, dude, I would love to be paired up against these people, but no, I'm getting paired up against people that are prestige. I'm getting paired up with people that are higher prestigious than me. I mean, prestige doesn't really matter, because it depends on the skill, you know, I could be a 10th prestige, or I think it's 15 in this game, I could be a 15th prestige with the highest level, but still suck at the game, it just depends how much I actually play the game, and, uh, yeah, so that's basically the main problem, the other problem is that, like, oh yeah, I mentioned the BAL, so right now, you know, on next generation con consoles, it is BAL of Pro Playing Duty, that's what I call it, and on the uh, Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3, it is EM1 Pro Playing Duty. It, that's all the game is, and I know Sledgehammer's coming out with a patch, I really do hope so, but this game right now, I wanted to express my thoughts in a video. Uh, what do you guys think of Advanced Warfare so far? Like, are you, How are you getting used to the controls? Because me, I'm not. I, you know, I mean, I'm obviously, you know, I like fast-paced things. Black Ops 2, I think, was the correct speed. Black Ops 2, you ran a little faster than a lot of the other Call of Duties, it seemed like. The streaks were actually pretty fun. The streaks in this game suck. The only good streaks are the bombing run, the care package, which sometimes gets you some good streaks, and the UAV... The system hack is pretty good, but other than that, the Paladin isn't even good, the gun overheats, the Goliath sucks, that thing overheats all the time, everything that can shoot a gun has overheating mechanics, and that that sucks, like if I earn, earn the kill streak, why should I, why should it have to overheat? Uh, it, it just, yeah, oh yeah, you could make the, you could, uh, upgrade your score streak, but the score streaks are already too high enough, I can't, I can barely even get a regular UAV, I have to put on the support UAV and the support care package all the time, that's what I run from now, because, uh, with my personality, you know, of how I, uh, do actually well within the game, I can't get on streaks like with a UAV, that are just regularly on, and that's just because I can't get used to the controls, so I just run the support streaks, you know, sometimes I even end up getting, like you saw there, the assault drone, or whatever that thing is called, you know, that's, it's a rare occasion for me now, I mean, especially since more people every day, every single day, are getting Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, uh, that's just how it happens to be, you know, um, 
you got people that are getting the game, but you know, I think it all this game also calculates skill from previous Call of Duty, so that could be a factor too. But Sledgehammer really needs to get on this game, and then maybe after they actually patch it, it'll turn out to be a better game than it is now, where I can you know barely even play a regular domination or hardpoint or kill confirmed or any kind of match without having these problems you know in the game. And uh, that's basically it, so leave a comment below, like I mentioned before, if uh, are discussing your thoughts on how you are liking the controls and all of Advanced Warfare, and I will see you on whatever my next video happens to be. I'm Ninja Geek, I'm out, peace.